Hey guys, Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com. I'm gonna bring you guys a cool new tool that I've been using uh, for a long time now. Uh, it's really, when I pick up a razor, this is what I pick up. It's the Donald Scott carving comb. Uh, it comes in all different shapes and sizes. This is the fine teeth uh, uh, addition, I guess you could say, addition of the uh, Donald Scott carving comb. There's also a wide tooth version. There's a chopstick version. And then there's the uh, Donald Scott twist version, which has no comb on it whatsoever. Now, the great thing about this uh, tool and what Donald created it, created it for was so that you could have all of this in your hand at the same time. So I could have my Mizutani scissors, which I love so much. I can comb the hair, I can cut the hair, and then I can also razor the hair if I want to all at the same time. So I love this tool. We're gonna go through, I'm gonna do a triangular graduation for you guys uh, with a little bit of a modern twist to it because we're gonna do it with a razor. And I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna use both ends of this, which is a cutting side, full cutting side, and then a texturizing side. So we're gonna get started. I got this sectioned off. I already cut my baseline, which we did in a previous video with my scissors to get a nice straight baseline. I prepped the hair with the Cloud9 Blowout uh, Serum from uh, Bricado. Love this product. It's gonna help with the blow dry later. And I like to put it in prior to cutting so that I get it saturated all the way through the hair. And then I also prepped it with the Donald Scott Prepare, which I'm gonna use all the way through this haircut because it gives a nice slip to the hair and it's really created for using a razor. So we're gonna saturate this. Instead of using a spray bottle, I can use Prepare for that. So I'm gonna take out my clip. I'm gonna make my first section. We're gonna be working on a slight diagonal forward uh, sectioning and then I'll clip it away. I like to put the clip in facing up because what that does is holds the hair away from me. Um, a lot of you guys, if you just shove the clip in this way, it doesn't hold it as well. And we wanna hold that nice and tight away from the rest of the hair. So a uh, little quick tip for you there. Now I'm gonna work on uh, subsections of what I just sectioned out. Now, we're gonna work with the razor. I can see my line right there of what I wanna cut. So as I lift this out pre from the previous cut already, I can see that graduation through it. So we're gonna comb it out using the fine teeth of the Donald Scott carving comb. And I'm just gonna work down the hair and cut it. Now everything's gonna be coming straight back to me, not straight back to the center. So don't, uh, don't plan on working everything over. The more you over direct, the more weight you push. And I think with a triangular graduation, a lot of times what happens is we over direct it too far and we push too much weight to the front. And you don't wanna do that. But you can see uh, it's starting to build up a nice shape in there. We'll take another section down. Beauty of this razor is everything just works so quickly uh, in the haircut. Now I don't really have to clip that away because it's already out of the way. So just to save some time, in the salon. And we're gonna bring this back. a Little more elevation. And we're gonna cut through there, just like that. Split that sectioning apart, bringing it back to me. And following that line that we're creating. Now, a key thing to focus on is working. I'm working that full cutting side my elevation is still high. I don't want to bring it all the way down here and cut because then I'm gonna to have too much of a weight line. So make sure that elevation is up. And then as the head drops, then your elevation can drop a bit. Now, once I cut through like that, and I wanna add a little bit of texture, that's the beauty of the carving comb. I can bring this all back, go to the uh, texturizing side, and just take out some of that weight and bulk in there. So back to the full cutting side. Straight over directed back, not getting greedy, not taking too much hair in my hand, and cutting through. You're starting to see that triangular shape building, bringing it back, texturizing side, just skinnying up those ends a little bit. I'm gonna bring back the rest of the hair. Following that line still, Oh, geez. And just working through the hair. I'm gonna bring that back and check it. It released a little faster than I wanted. 
And now bring it back one more time. Texture side, right on the ends, just lightening that up a little bit. So now we're working, slight diagonal forward. Grabbing up the hair and working through. I like to kind of hold this almost like a pencil in my hand and work my line in that way when I'm working down with the razor. So we'll just come through here. And basically, like I said, drawing with a pencil through there. So let's let down some more hair. Slight diagonal forward again. Now this is a little bit different because we're working on a side parting. So I'll show you guys what I do different in the back here. So we're just going to go vertical down the back just to tie in this back portion. And I'm going to be really light and give a lot of motion on the top here because I don't, the tighter I am with, the, with cutting, the bolder that weight line is going to be in the back. So I really want to feather it out. And the way that we do that is just a, a heavier motion with the, the carving comb. So working back and forth nice and, nice and heavy. And then, then we move into where we were. So combing everything straight back to me and working that line, creating that triangular graduation. Same thing here, vertical with a heavy pass of the carving comb. So it's nice and light, I'm working my way down the head, following that line. The other key thing is to make sure that you're really combing that hair at the scalp. And that's why I like the tight teeth of the carving comb as I'm working through because it really scoops up all those little hairs so you don't miss them. Bring it back. All the way around. Now this side is being overdirected further because it was parted on the left side. So we're gonna have a little extra weight and heaviness and length on um, the right side. So we're gonna take care of that now. So you can see as we comb her up here. So now there's a couple things that I wanna do with this side. So this side's a skinny side, so it's a lot easier to, uh, as we cut that line, the weight is pretty, pretty uh, standard, so you don't have to worry about too much uh, density in the hair. But on this side, we pushed all of this weight over. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this into sections. I'm gonna bring her facing me over here. I'm gonna work that hair forward. And I'm gonna take out a nice triangle in the front of the hair. And what you should see is this is where that extra length is in the front. So you can see that that's longer than the rest of the haircut. Turn it so you can see that. And you can see that these two sides now will match up. So what I like to do is build in a, a nice fringe in the front here to tie it all together. Um, it works really nice with the haircut, gives it a little bit more of a modern feel uh, to it as well. So. And the great thing about using a carving comb is I can comb all this hair forward just like this in my hand and I can draw what I want that fringe to look like in the front. So I'm just holding that nice and tight in my hand and I'm working a nice side fringe into it. So you guys can see how that works. Whoa, so cool.